Tim Couch said during the offseason he specifically worked on play fake and ball handling. Well, if you think coaching is not the most important thing in this league, yes, I know you need players. Couch. Going to go deep. Caught. Kevin Johnson. Touchdown. Oh, it was Mike Brown who had the tip. Mike Brown sees it, makes a good reaction, gets back. Have we seen a season's worth of tipped passes? It's a minute 52 to play here in the fourth quarter. Now, Greg, as you look at this, do you think, and, you know, the Bears, do you think they were a fluke coming, uh, uh, what we saw when we were getting ready this week at 5-1? and one? Oh, no. Film, as you're happy to say, film doesn't lie. It doesn't lie. The quarterbacks have played well. Matthews to James Allen, and Allen out of bounds just across the 20-yard line. Matthews steps up, throws far side, and that is incomplete. Caught out of bounds by Marty Booker. And that play is being reviewed on the sideline, and this is not a challenge by Dick Duran. This is an automatic inside of two minutes. You know, I call that a catch. You a do. legitimate catch. Yes. Player controls the ball, gets one foot down, and then drags the second foot. That makes it a completion. First and 10 at the 35. Matthews going to come this way. And that's a juggling catch. They were feeling so good about their football team, about this game. Nice week of preparation. Pass underneath complete to David Terrell. And Terrell inside the 45, and the clock continues to move. Does it, if you have a good week of practice, does it mean anything when the game starts and it goes along? I don't know. Throw far side, and that's complete to James Allen, and Allen inside the 30. And we welcome those of you who watched the Washington Redskins defeat the Seattle Seahawks. Greg Gumbel, Phil Sims, Armin Katayan at Soldier Field in Chicago. The Bears have called a timeout to stop the clock with a minute and two seconds remaining. They have one left. They are down 21-7, to and it has been a day of terrific defensive play by the Cleveland Browns. That it has. They must don't give up too quick yet. There's still a minute to go. We know better. Yes, we do. And back to live action now. The pass to the sideline is complete inside the 15-yard line to Des White. And that's a first down at the 14-yard line, and the Browns line up quickly. Number 96, Greg Spires, limping off the field and didn't get off the field in time. He did not get on the field in time, and now the flags fall on the far side. Illegal substitution on the defense, 12 men on the field, five yards, still first down. Here's the juggling catch on the sideline by Des White. Control. They did not rule that he was forced out. If you rule that he is forced out by the hit, you think he's going to land in bounds, then it's not reviewable. Even though there was a penalty, I thought, well, that's what overruled it. The play didn't count because of the penalty, but it did count. The play was run. Just seven points to show for it on the board. Second and five. Again, touchdown. Nice throw by Shane Matthews. The Bears go out of three receivers. The bunch that causes confusion. It leaves Marty Booker wide open in the end zone. 28 seconds remaining to be played. And we see teams practicing the onside kick every single week at practice. Doesn't get a bounce. Oh, there's a high hop. It is a pile up inside midfield. Let's see who comes up with the football. It was on the second hop. Usually it's one bounce and it goes up. Watch the kick. Boom. One, two. And after this one, it just goes straight up. And they are still trying to unstack the players to make a call. Bears ball. Shane Matthews, a career high, 305 yards passing, looking to add to that. 24 seconds to play. The Bears with one timeout. Underneath, complete. James Allen. Allen looking for the sideline. 
and is out of bounds at about the 43. Bears tied the 49ers late last week, won it in overtime. And the way you line up will determine now that now Cleveland's going to play much, a much better defense, more conservative. Matthew, short flip to Allen. Allen cuts it inside, down at the 33-yard line. And the clock is stopped with eight seconds to play as the Bears use their final timeout. So the Browns with a two touchdown lead up until moments ago and now trying to hold on and go back to Cleveland with a share of the top spot in the AFC Central. Been a good football game. It has been a good football. Yes it has. You didn't think it was going to come down to this though did no, you? No I didn't. But the Bears did the right thing. They took their time and finally scored that touchdown. And they got extremely fortunate, of course, to get the onside kick. Bears are out of timeouts. <laughs> got to take the time. Steps up, going to go for it all in the end zone. Jump ball. Caught. It's caught. James Allen was there for the tip. Shane Matthews stepping up in the pocket allowed the receivers to get in the end zone create the tip for the catch by James Allen. Hey, baby. James Allen what a catch he fell on Marty Booker Edinger for the tie. The clock reads double zero and we are tied at 21. Shane Matthews with 29 of 48 for 352 yards. Each of those numbers is a career high. Hey man, that's and we'll have a coin toss at center field. What's your call? Edge is a call. It's a tail. We want the ball. We'll kick that way. The Bears get the football. The Browns will kick with the win. The onside kick, the long pass, two incredible plays. Second and seven. Matthews, play fake. Wide open. Pulls it down and now throws it away. Des White was. Had his uh, defender beat by five yards for about a 15 yard gain. Third and seven. Over the middle. That's complete. And this is White, and White is short of a first down at the 40 yard line. Boots one. Back to his own nine yard line. And Northcutt is buried at the 12. Now, Tim Couch has been good tonight 13 of 21 for 195 and two touchdowns he has been particularly good deep in his own territory on third down and even on fourth down to get his team out of trouble I would think the Browns will come out with some type of play action and look to pick up big yards on the first play here Play action it is. Got him wide open. He's got him over the middle, and that's complete to Kevin Johnson. He's out of bounds across the 25 to about the 28 yard line. And deliver the football. First that's, down. That's the best thing he's done today. Very good at taking the hit and delivering the football. Under the gun now and goes down. Number 59, Roosevelt Colvin, in for the sack along with Philip Daniels. Colvin, number 59, on the outside. Oh, just a protection problem by the Cleveland Browns. Nobody there to pick him up. Nobody running the short route for Tim Couch to throw the football to. Colvin with a breather on the sideline. Eight sacks in all for both teams. Five by the Bears, three by the Browns. Jamel White in the lineup now for Cleveland. Couch out of the shotgun. Throws. That's batted into the air. Intercepted, and the Bears are going to win it. Mike Brown has done it again.
Brian Robinson appeared to get a hand on the football. And Mike Brown, the hero a week ago, does it on consecutive Sundays, and the Chicago Bears, with a six game winning streak, have beaten the Cleveland Browns 27 to 21. Brian Robinson tipped that ball so far, it went all the way across the formation for Mike Brown to make the interception. Courtney Brown, who played a terrific game defensively for the Browns, walks dejectedly off the field. The Chicago Bears score 20 points in the last three minutes and 22 seconds to win it in overtime.